What's going on, everybody? Welcome to my Warplan Pacific stream here. I'm about to start it up here. Decided to stream in the middle of the day. Wasn't feeling well. Uh, still not. Um, but nothing's going to keep me from Warplan Pacific. All right, let's get it on. Oh, well, uh, this game is loading. Um, I was gonna show you guys. Oh, uh, you guys gotta check out this uh, uh, Burden of Command uh, micro dev blogs. They're really doing some amazing things with this game. Hopefully it comes out this, uh, this year. Alright, so where were we? I try to have this surface fleet engage this uh, carrier fleet. It didn't go so well. Although I have had success here, I think I uh, scratched one flat top, which is the uh, name of this uh, video here. I don't think it's going to show in here. Yeah, I lost the hornet. But the previous turn, I scratched one Japanese flat top. Um, so what I need to do this turn is scratch another one. So the question becomes, as the U.S., can you trade flat top for flat top? Because technically, I got a couple of them coming down the road. <laughs> just a couple, you know, just, just a few. <laughs> oh, wait, that's just the England. Oh, daggone, forget about that. Look at this. CV, CVL, CV, CVL, CVL, CV, 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 C. Just quite a few CVs. So I, I think the answer to that question is yes. <laughs> oh, man. Not 100% today. So just to give you guys a heads up. Hopefully I don't make some stupid decisions. Ooh, I can do that. That would be good. And I can destroy this division here. Daggone. Uh, I'm not gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna prior prioritize to get those guys <laughs> good because I don't want to freaking lose my fighter coverage here. All right, I'm gonna take this. Yeah, I think I'm gonna take this. Everybody's at a good effectiveness. Actually, should I risk losing whatever effectiveness I have with this guy here? So I'm going to prioritize reinforcements for... Wow. Chinese second army group. It's 30 out of 30. Maybe if I do attack here, I can destroy this division. And I can swap it out. Yeah, it's not a bad idea. Yeah, we're going to go for the attack. You know what Stonewall Jackson says? Always attack, always attack. I don't know if he said that, but that, that was his mantra. All right, here we go. Oh boy. And that's what I'm talking about. Alright, I'll swap. Got a hot swap. Got a hot swap. Gotta take those uh, opportunities where I can, right? I feel like I should move over here. Take the hills. I'm firmly entrenched here. I know they're not going to be able to... Uh... Take that position. Oh, man. Oh, yeah. I definitely need to... Uh... Hold on. 
Gotta keep remembering to go into the chat. Keep forgetting about that. So I'm gonna keep an eye on the chat. Because uh, last time I did it, some users are complaining. It's like, dude, you gotta check the chat every once in a while. And I'll, I'll be better with that. Let's check out the Australian front. All right, I guess I even with those guys already. Jeez, this terrain is horrible. Horrible. Reminds me of um, the movie, uh, what do you call it, The Pacific? Remember, uh, I forgot the guy's name, but he was in this, and it was just, oh man, it was a nightmare. It was raining all the time. <laughs> it was raining so much that uh, he, got, he developed a condition. I forgot what it was. Um, because it was raining and raining and raining, nonstop water raining everywhere. It was like week after week. And I forgot he developed certain some type of condition where um, he lost control of his, you know, I think his, you know, bowels, you know, kind of thing. Um, all right, 616. I only got two in the build queue. Well, let's make it three then. My, my goal here is to constantly build. Constantly build. Eventually, I'm just going to outbuild the Japanese. All right, I think I'm good. There's nothing else I can do. I can't send this fracking strategic bomber anywhere and it kind of sucks i can't even have them engage <sighs> that's bad next turn i'm sending these two battleships after this freaking car they only have two carriers that in the middle of nowhere nope <laughs> unbelievable all right what are you trying to show me my friend Oh, you know what? I should maybe send more stuff to China. Yeah, let me create a trade. Send more stuff to China. Gotta stabilize that front, you know what I'm talking about? Oh, shit. Well, guess who's going to pick up the... the tab here? Only eight? Seriously? Are you kidding me? It's because there's a freaking sub here, I think. Yeah, there's... Please tell me it's a, uh, it's a cruiser. Anti-sub warfare is a one. They're not going to be able to do much. I got a, a flotilla on the 16, so I guess I got to wait. I'm coming for you, my friend. Just give me a minute. All right, end turn. Yeah, there's not much else I can do here. Oh, let me zoom in so I don't miss anything. Ah, got my black coffee here. Ah, oh, man. I guess they were trying to inter uh, engage the ship, and they attacked. My guys counterattacked. Good job.
Once I take Lay, I can have these ships dock there and start, I don't know, drilling these Japanese positions here. Slowly, slowly get to the, um... What are you doing? What are you doing? Freaking armies keep growing in size. Oh, seriously? That was a stupid move. One and one? Oh, shit. Oh, shit. They're trying to come around my flank. Smart AI. I gotta give it that. Check that out. The AI is thinking on its feet. It's alright. I'll just put my guys over in Chongqing. I'll take that position too. Keep throwing dirt in front of you guys. And trench and trench and trench. Well, I finished the uh, Falcon and... Um what do you call it? Uh, the guy with the robot arm. Um, Winter Soldier. Yeah, I finished that. Uh, it was actually good. I, you know, I wouldn't say it was the best, but it was good. It was interesting. They kind of uh, created a new... Um, so, one new hero from the comics comes into the... Uh, uh, to the show so that was interesting but um, I tried WandaVision man I got through like 15 or 20 minutes of that and it was like a old sitcom from the 50s it was just really odd I know it has something to do with uh, her head or something like that but yeah I just paused it I went back to um, Falcon and Winter Soldier and finished that and <laughs> started watching Infinity War. <laughs> I tell you, the one, you know, the, the really incredible thing about Marvel is these Marvel movies, man, are just like art. You know, like, it's hard not to find a movie that I... I don't like right so I, I rewatched Thor the first one and I was like I never wanted to watch that again uh, but I rewatched it. it was actually pretty good um, in hindsight looking at Thor and then seeing his development as a character through the movies you you see a lot of development uh, graphics were good too um, I didn't like so much the dark world or whatever I I thought it was okay that's probably the weakest of the movies that I, I probably have seen, but um, everything else is just... Thor uh, Ragnarok is probably my... possibly my favorite one. That, that, that movie is just incredible. Absolutely incredible. It's hilarious. I made the uh, accident to uh, play it as background uh, noise at work. And, um, uh, you know, because I'm thinking it's Marvel. Like, they're not going to curse. And they did have, like, you know, shit and kind of thing. But, I mean, who really gets offended by that? But there was this scene where they get the, uh, uh, I don't know, the dictators or whatever, the uh, magistrate's um, ship. And... Um, <laughs> 
So, you know, I was doing work and, you know, it was just like, uh, it's like, what kind of ship is it? What does he use this for? It's like, orgies. He said it very loud. I'm like, oh, shit. He's just like, don't touch anything. It's like, how many orgies? I'm like, oh, man. Uh... Oh, they fracking moved the freaking fleet. Can I do recon? Son of a frack. They moved those two ships. I'm gonna do some recon with these guys, I think. The B will go off mad far though. Shit. I don't think a sub attack is gonna be smart. I'm gonna send you guys. I gotta get these ships out. There's no way I can support an attack. They'll frack me up. They already did. Look at this. I gotta go back home. put that bomber here but that's it I can't put him on this island maybe I can I need a long range though let's try it maybe next turn I can get him there all right I want to see my boys here oh shit oh come on Why can't I, I, I land them? I'm assuming since it's red, I can't disembark them. Shit. Oh, okay. My bad. <sighs> Shit, the odds are still not in my favor. Oh, there's a fleet here. I don't know what's there, but let's do a carrier strike. One CV, one battleship. Hit him. All right, you want to come? Uh, I got three battleships to your one, my friend. We can have fun every day of the week. Shit! Try again. Shit. All right, not good. Whatever. You running low on oil, huh? Ugh, three, come on, man. Got a four over here. Come on. And I'll do a hot swap. Three to one, come on guys, cross your fingers. Maybe I'll, I'll soften them up a little bit. Shit. Alright, close enough. Come on! Push! Guys, come on, man.
Damn it. Can I do a hot swap? No. Daggone, man. That freaking unit. Since I have more troops, I can flank the freckers. Son of a gun, man. Look at the freaking ratings on these guys. Let me check the chat. Alright, good. Gotta keep an eye on that chat. Seriously? Three to two, I don't like that. I don't like it. I want more. Look at this weird line. It's just it's freaking weird. Alright, uh I'm gonna send an army north. In fact I'll send two armies north. Let me see how the supply is in that area. Very good. Oh wait, hold on. Yeah, it's still good. We have a river between us, so that'll be good. Just my flank is in the air. Do you see that? Let's do this. Worst case scenario, I can move this guy there. Nice, a mech core. Ooh, baby, that's what I need. Yes, sir. Got a lot of battleships for you guys. All right, so what I'm thinking of doing here with this fleet, since they're still in the area, is attacking one, right? They have one CV left. Let me hand you back. Go fix yourself. Now, what I'm thinking of doing is maybe splitting the fleet. You know, taking a couple of battleships after I launch an airstrike, right? And just engaging them because. They have two battleships. If I put in three battleships with some cruisers and destroyers and these two other battleships, I can frack up their fleet pretty good. I'm going to save it here just in case. It's always good to save. All right. Oh shit! Zero supply. That's always fracking good to have. Well, I guess it's pointless now. I'm not sending three battleships with them having a carrier there. Let's engage. Maybe we'll get lucky. Damn it. So I'm left with this. It'll be three to two. 
The thing I'm worried about here, check this out, is if I keep engaging here, and these guys go down to three, I have a feeling this one that's at like eight or nine, they're gonna come and they're gonna smash into me. That's what I'm worried about. I'd rather them just pile up dirt, you know what I'm saying? I mean, this guy's not gonna be able to put any more, but I was hoping maybe, what's the max you can give me? Five. So maybe, maybe next turn I can get five on this. Shoot, they have bombers here. Division, division, core, cheese at a really bad rate. Ten out of thirty cheese, dude. What is wrong with you? All right, let's put you guys on a boat. Cross your fingers, good. Put you guys on a boat. Cross your fingers when it runs to any Japanese, good. Disembark. Disembark. All right, we're gonna take the long way. We'll have two divisions attack from the south, and one from the north. Have bombers on hot standby. Cool. Alright, let's look at build. 744. Give me a light carrier. I got six carriers in the queue. Six? Seven. Oil actually does oil actually affect my army? No, right? Right. Oil is not like a yeah zero. Nobody has oil except the commanders. <laughs> I really don't give a. <laughs> that really affects them that much. I thought that was a seven for a second. <laughs> my eyes are getting bad. Sixty points. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Part of Japanese codes have been deciphered. What do I get from that? Will I get something right away? Nothing looks new. Oh, I think something's new. That. I get to actually see some of my infantry units. I think normally they're like this. So those codes being deciphered, I could see a little bit more. Oh, I got another battleship. Keep them coming. Keep them coming. Can I get there? No. All right. Combat log deploy. Give me reports. UK has low oil stockpile. Seriously? But they're not really doing anything. Actually, they are. Hold on. Shit. I gotta give him more oil. I'll give you 12. Probably because of that fleet that's out. 
Alright. In turn. I'm hesitant. <laughs> Let's click it. Alright, let's just do it. Whew. Did you see that? Three battleships were sunk. Three! Oh, they got another fleet there. Come on, give me a break. There's two two carriers. Carrier group and a carrier group. I lost three battleships. You, It said it, they only had one CV, I think. That intel must have been bad. Because there's no way one carrier strike group is going to take out three battleships. This fleet is gone now. Freaking gone. Unbelievable. I'm surprised they're not advancing. I mean, they got a clear road to Zhang Zhang. Zhang. Oh crap, don't move. Oh my gosh. Are you kidding me? That's more than double. Son of a... Oh, jeez. One division is more powerful than both my armies there. Japanese are bringing in, like, freaking cores and armies that are just... Insanely powerful. Dig in, that's all I can tell you. Got to do it like a Bunker Hill kind of thing. Shoot, they're moving units from here to there. They're going to throw in a massive attack on my left flank. I think that's what's going to happen. A massive attack. See? They're already beginning. I mean, bringing up those two armies here is going to help. Come on. Should be prior deprioritize maybe this unit, that unit, and just focus on these guys. My extreme left flank with the, the priority reinforcements. You know, one thing I would love in this game is if you can, like, have units to, like, extend the rail. That would be really cool. I don't know if you can do that in War in the Pacific. But I know in Strategic Command you can have engineer units build, like, fortifications.
Maybe I should transfer some of these units here to reinforce my left. I mean, they're not going to do anything here. I don't think. And worst case scenario, I can, you know, if I lose this side of the river, I can just fortify here. You know what I'm saying? I was just watching, um, I think, was it Linus Tech Tips? Yeah, I was watching Linus Tech Tips, and uh, I wish these guys could do recon. Oh, yeah, get the frack out. Air superiority. I need the bombers, dude. Oh, you can go here. Oh, boy. He's a, a strategic. I thought I had two tactical bombers. Oh, yeah, I got these guys. I gotta put them on a boat, that's why. Everybody's back up to three supply. I'm gonna send you guys here, and you got utilize you guys as uh, once the Japanese fleet is here. I hope they have good range. All right. I do that with the other one? No. Oh boy! Yes! Mm. The old breed. That's what I'm talking about. Marine Corps. Hoorah. Get some. Don't F with the 1st Marine Division. Or the second, or the third, or the fourth. <laughs> oh gosh. Oh my gosh. All my battleships are gone. It's a bad day. Oh, thankfully, at least I got him out. Look, freaking. Look at that fleet. It's gone. You tell me I have no chance. We'll see. Come on, why is this not taking... Still on 10. Alright, give me some good news. Oh my gosh. Freaking horrible. Alright, I'm going to have these two guys attack here. Let's see... Oh, no, I'm not. Let's do this. Tell me with all these. Geez. Yeah, 
Hit him. Come on, guys. Um, they're only interceptors. I can't use it. Oh, I can? Come on, come on, come on. Here we go. <laughs> come on, man. Three to two. Come on, hit him. Hit him. Forget it. Ooh, what if we go around their flank? I can cut off supplies to this guy. <laughs> oh man. Alright. Since you're in a better position, you're gonna defend Chunking. You're gonna take position as I'm thinking of reserve. Just like a, a full on reserve. In case we have any holes in the line. Which they'll be undoubtedly be. Put you over here. Good three. Keep it up, guys. Keep it up. Get keep digging. Keep digging. Jeez. I mean, I really can't attack. Honestly, it's all for naught. Three to two. If I'm gonna attack now, I might as well attack them now with only half their entrenchments up. But if I do that, my units are gonna weaken. I'm just thinking, see the problem is, is do you take the opportunity to attack, right? Like attack here, deal as much damage as you can do to the enemy. Or do you just dig in and hope Check out the comments. Make sure nobody's okay. Good. You know what? I live on the. Oh, actually, let's do this. What if we three to two? Yeah, I'll leave that guy alone. Attack! Shit. Shit! Cease fire! Cease fire! That was bad. Very, very bad. Somebody's deploying? Who's deploying? Oh, I thought the battleship. Jeez, the U.S. has so many freaking battleships at this point. Doesn't seem like a fair fight. All right, who do I got here? I got battleships galore. Yeah. Let's go over here and... Well, hold tight. Look at that, 21, right? 21 and 1. I forgot how I have the things set up. Size and operation points. 21 ships. 
Actually, can I just do... Do I have any Marines coming? I got 2nd and 3rd Marine Divisions coming in. I mean, they took this without, like, even a, a sweat. Where can I do recon? I don't know, let's go over here. Is that a CVL? That's a cruiser. I thought it said, I thought I had a destroyer. I could have sworn last time I deployed it was a, a destroyer group. Oh, September 16th. Come on, I need more destroyers, guys. All right, I can afford that. I got three in the queue. I'm just concerned about moving um, cruisers. I knew they had a sub in this area. I think maybe if I move up this way, take the long way, and then come out this way, it'll be longer, but... I mean, I have a mechanized unit, right? Like, this is a full-on mech. Attack is 9. Look at that. Look how beautiful that is. So, what I'm thinking with this is I can take on freaking a crap ton of Japanese troops. I can really make damage. So, question is, where, where is a good place to deploy behind enemy lines? I, I don't... That's a hard argument because... Maybe if I land here and attack... The only problem is I need a port. Because if I'm attacking for a long period of time, more than I think a few weeks, my supply is going to dry up. And even if I take this, you know, and attack after that up here, they could just move Japanese, use the rail, and start the attack here. I think it's best to just land them here and then use them on the front. I already, you know, kind of overextended my line here, actually. So, yeah, maybe I should do that. Oh, I can make a $330 in armored core. Oh, that would be... What's the arch uh, attack on this? I think the way you get, hold on, sure. I keep wondering how you can get, uh, how these rates are calculated. So I'm thinking like the fence I know is, wait, the fence is 11. The max defense is six. Oh, I guess other things come into this. That's why. And in terms of nine, I think it goes four, seven. I think they calculate these together. Hmm. Japanese are worried about New Guinea. For them to put two carrier groups here. Holy sh you know, my last report said one CV, one CV. No wonder I lost three battleships. There's six CVs, and there has to be a CV here. Maybe that's the fleet that I was tracking before. Does that make sense? 
Maybe they moved another fleet down here. Six CVs, man. That's absurd amount. And they just disappeared here. I mean, I can't send them there, right? can I? It would take forever. You know what I need to do? I'm, I'm, I'm focused on the Japanese fleet, and I shouldn't be. I should be focused on objectives, and the Japanese will come to me. So, I need to go after this base right here. That's next up on the list. Because there's an air base here. Oh shit, there's an air base there. Right? Isn't that an air base icon? I don't know. Either way, I'm going to ha have to land Marines here and take this position. I just realized these guys are still on the boat. I could probably move them. I'm not going to take Tarawa because there's no airbase there. I'm not really that concerned. I don't want to take every single base that they have troops in. It would be a long affair at that point. I want to do like take out their air assets, which would be this base. And then from there, since they have no aerial, other aerial assets, I can move to another area like... Truck would be good. I think normally, I think in the Pacific campaign, truck was taken. Um, I wonder, intelligence wise, if some of these do have air bases. Like, that looks like it has an air base, because you see that thing right there? So I would need to take out this one and this one in that case. And I have to check if this guy has an air base right there. I definitely, I think that's an airbase signature. I don't see no airbase thing here, so I definitely need to take that out. And once I take those, these three bases, I can start engaging Japanese forces in the New Guinea area, supporting Australian efforts. And then after that, you know, we move closer and then closer. And I have the fleet to do it, too. And since they're not there, you might as well just go back and plan the next attack. When are my Marines coming? November 16th, so it's a couple months away. I'm going to build another Marine division, I think, for the U.S., Two in the pipeline. I'm gonna get the fourth. 120 only two. I got three. I got two. I got 11 carriers in the works. Seven of these. Six battleships. Probably should make another cruiser, but I'm gonna wait for next turn on that. China got a nice stockpile. What if I keep sending China like a crap ton 
of like resources but I don't have a only England has that root tag on Oh snap! Partisans are giving the Chinese, uh, I mean the Japanese, a hard time. It's always good. Uh, I can't unite them right now, right? Oh, they're on their different oh, crap. That's probably why I can't unite them. And I'm con concerned that they're gonna use the aerial assets and just smash my freaking core there. Freaking need the Australians to build up. Um, 325, there is no way the Australians are gonna be able to do that. I send 60. And eventually, I can build a uh, aerial unit to do air superiority. Uh, by that time, will be just pointless. Might as well util utilize the American fleet here, as this area is air superiority. But I only have three carriers, and that's what's concerning me. It's not. It's not. not what I want. Shit, I can't get to Midway? Come on. Take every battleship you can send me, my friend. Any battleship. Whoa, check this out. The ninth core has 10 and 11. I can't put them on a boat yet. Frack. Got two more transports then. Alright, I'm gonna do one more turn because this game has that. Are you kidding me? Low supply? <sighs> Whatever. This game has that thing where you can't not <laughs> not click and turn. Alright, I'm gonna save it here just to because I have a bad feeling. Yes, sir. Then I gotta finish up because I'm not 100%. I gotta eat some chow. Maybe that'll make me feel better. Come on. Oh shit. 
It's all right. I got five. Defense of five. But I, I, I cut off the supply to that guy, so he's not going to be as physically fit as he thinks. I hope they don't move this entire bunch to take out coming. Cun, cun, cunming. Hold, boys. Hold. Give them the cold steel. Really wish they would make a last full measure movie. You know, based on Jeff Sarah, the uh, third uh, part of the um, Civil War series. So, if you guys watched Gettysburg, uh, the movie that was based on um, the Killer Angels by his father, Michael Sarah, and then uh, the Generals movie, which took part of the first part of the um, I think it goes from 1860 to 1863 uh, is the first part of the Civil War and then Jeff Sarah also wrote the last part of the Civil War so from Gettysburg on to the end of the Civil War I love the book man I, I've read that book multiple times and every time I meet Jeff Sarah who actually lives in Gettysburg now he actually moved there a couple of years ago and every time we had they had reenactments and I went up there, I always asked him, it's like, any luck? He's like, no, man. He said, oh, shit. Oh, wow, he took two losses. But, yeah, it, he, every year, I, I guess for the last, I don't know, a decade, I kept asking him, was like, any luck? He's like, no. And he says, at this point, you know, um... Uh, Jeff Daniels wouldn't be able to do Chamberlain, so it's like, mm, he says, uh, you know, if they did it in, like, the early 2000s, uh, even as, I think, late as, I think, even 2010, but now it's been, like, I don't know how many years since that movie, 30 years, and on screen, it, it just wouldn't, you know, you would have Chamberlain and Gettysburg, the movie, and then in the last full measure, it'd be like 30 years old. I was like, that would make, I mean, you could try with prosthetic, you know, like animation and all that, and uh, put in as many fake beards as possible. <laughs> you ain't gonna go convince the audience that he's, uh, it's the next day. They'll just look odd. And it, and it sucks because uh, it would have been, I mean, I would have loved to see that in uh, motion picture. Hold, boys. Hold. Don't break. Do not break. See, they're trying to freaking throw everything they have. I need to pull a reserve back there. Yeah, I'm definitely going to, I think, pull this guy back and then put him here. Because at least I'll have the river, so if they come down, they'll have a river penalty. But it was that director, um, I forgot his name. Um, you know, Gettysburg was a really awesome movie. You know, it was, um, it was like, uh, it was more military focused. Well, I think the general's movie was more political, um, and I, I read, I watched a couple of YouTube videos that um, I think Historical Gamer recommended, and uh, they were talk. Um, one of the videos was saying how Ron Maxwell, that's the director, uh, was kind of focused on like uh, politi politicizing that movie um, in regards to like um, the movie was about you know states' rights. Um, not about slavery and um, so he made the movie focused on that instead of the military side which is what pretty much everybody loves about Gettysburg it was about it focused on the military side I mean you did have like one or two scenes uh, that were more um, I think they were, had political uh, in Gettysburg but it was pretty much a military movie um, First call. It's not this core, is it? No. This is a division. Shoot. Oh, crap. Oh, they brought him there. 
Oh, that's a bad move, tough guy. Ah, oh, maybe I can do that. Oh, maybe I can do that. Oh, maybe I can do that. Ah, maybe I can hit him next turn. How many carriers? Three carriers? Again, six of theirs. I don't know, guys. I don't know. They have six carriers. Six. When am I getting more carriers? Come on, man. I'm getting two more. Well, really one at the end of 42. And the rest come mid-43. I don't want to wait to advance. I want to hit him now. I can't, right? I can't unify them, right? Oh, I can. Check that out. Oh, baby. You're out of supply, aren't you? That's why you're out of one. Fucker. He was at, like... I forgot what he was at before. Well, that's because of his effectiveness and his supply is low. Well, that didn't work out. Jeez. That fleet is... Alright, and the next turn... Drop them off there. Yeah, well, I'm not doing landing craft. All right, give me some good news. Give me some good news. Oh, oh, come on! It's still two to one. Four to one. I gotta take those odds. Come on! Finally, finally push those daggone frackers. 25. Move this core down here. Oh, shia. Yeah. Oh, that's not good. Um, ooh, tank destroyer. What like that? I like that. Oh, I can do that. It's only two to one, though. Let's do it anyway. I'm just concerned about losing this. I, f I don't want to really... I need his ar heavy artillery, though. If I do this, I can break him. Let's do it. Yes! Oh, yeah! All right. Oh, three to one. Oh, boy. Seven to one. Uh, I'm not going to use him, though. I'll use you, too. Yes. Uh, stand by. I uh, can't put anybody there. Shoot. If I move him here, this guy's gonna come up and attack my flank. I'll just leave it. They'll put put another unit there, I'll just smash him. So we're actually doing good here. We're actually progressing. I just hope they don't move some units with that freaking rail in it. Actually, I think they did, right? Wasn't there six here? 
Or maybe he moved them here. Jeez. I'm gonna move you. Maybe I should hold here. Because if I move this guy down and this guy out of the way, they can two on one this guy. Maybe holding here for a while will be good. Yeah, I'm gonna take that opportunity. Yeah, I'm definitely taking that opportunity. Hit him! Take that, you piece of garbage. Three to two, I'm, well, two to one. Yeah, I'm not taking those odds. Come on, build up, build up. All right, I think I'm gonna save you here, guys. Uh, I gotta eat some chow. I, I, I think maybe I'm not, I only had a little food today. Maybe that's, I don't even know what to do with this fleet here. It's just, uh, it's just horrible. Two, three battleships, man. Three battleships. That's horrendous losses. It's like apocalyptic. Three battleships. But once I bring this mechanized unit here, I don't care what they put in the field, they're going to have problems. Oh, they have a special ability. What ability is that? That's an engineer one, right? That's going to have... Um, I think that's going to remove the uh, penalty for crossing a river. I love this game, man. This, this game is just getting better and better, man. Love it, love it. One more of it. Huh? Here, let me unify these guys. You know, I probably want to put a... Maybe I should just bring this guy down. Yeah, that's what I'll do. So I have two cores that are going to go to deal with the invasion here. But I gotta figure it out because th this Japanese fleet is going to be a problem. I can out battleship them. That's for darn sure. Like, I got a crap ton of battleship divisions. Oh, cool. So I got one. Come on, why are you doing that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I got nine battleships there, four. So I can definitely gun and run. I can't even gun and run. I can definitely gun and, you know, make them run. But, hey, let me check the chat. I haven't checked that in a while. Spiraling, 69, how you doing, man? How you doing? What the? Oh, that's right. No, I haven't played the Japanese yet. Um, I'm kind of tempted to uh, probably the next one. How's the Japanese in uh, China like when you're starting out? Is it uh, is it pretty easy to take them out? Um, because I'm not doing so well. <laughs> I mean, I, I I'm holding them where they are, but yeah, it's not it's not going well. Here I'm doing good, kicking the shit out of. Uh, Pushing them back. I, I think I broke, I think, two divisions. Uh, they brought up their second army. That's great. And they're fully entrenched there. That's nice. All 
All right, I think I'm gonna end it here, guys. I'm gonna save it. I love this game, man. Yeah, I'm a... Uh, the AI is definitely a challenge. It's actually smart. It actually thinks on its feet here. Uh, I've noticed. Um, it's not weak. Although the Japanese are in a much better position than I am here because, uh, you know, they have a crap ton of carriers and the best I could put out in the field is three. <laughs> so, yeah, not that great. <laughs> All right, uh, I guess I will catch you, Sperling, uh, next time. Hopefully, I can do a video tomorrow. And uh, to the rest of you guys, I'll catch you in the next one. See you then.